Back in episode number one, we had Jeffrey Gittimer on a podcast, and Jeffrey taught us something interesting. Jeffrey said, people love to buy, but they hate to be sold. Think about that one more time. People love to buy, but they hate to be sold. Nobody wants to be tricked into doing something or feel that they were manipulated. That's the last thing that you want to do as a sales rep. However, if you can help the person to buy, help them to make the buying decision themselves, or maybe you can paint a picture or help paint a picture for them of where they are now, where they can go, and what will happen if they don't change, then that person is going to make a buying decision. They're going to make an emotional decision and justify it logically. And that's what we want to do. We want to help them to make that decision. Your job is to guide them down a process, to educate them. And on today's episode, we're going to teach you this idea of how you can paint that picture and how to make sure you're doing it effectively. This episode is brought to you in part by MailTag.io. Essentially, it's a tool that allows you to see around the corner. Want to know when someone opens your email? Or perhaps, maybe there's a link to your proposal. Want to know when they click on it? MailTag.io got you. Take advantage of a 14-day free trial. Simply go to MailTag.io. This episode is also brought to you in part by TSE Certified Sales Training Program. If you feel that your sales are in a slump, 2018 wasn't the best year. Perhaps you gave some amazing presentations. You did a lot of hard work, but still yet they left you and went with the competition. We can fix that. Check out TSE Certified Sales Training Program. We have a new semester beginning in April, and it would be an absolute honor to have you join. Go to the salesevangelist.com slash C as in certified, S as in sales, T as in training. The salesevangelist.com slash C S T. Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to another great episode of the Sales Evangelist Podcast. I am your host, Donald Kelly. The Sales Evangelist, and I'm so excited for another great episode. I'm so excited to be here with you today. And on this episode, we're going to teach you how to become an artist. Yes, you're going to paint some amazing pictures, some amazing, vivid artwork that just feels so real. And the greatest part about this, you won't even need to pick up a paintbrush. In our semester of TSC Certified Sales Training Program, we're going through the beta right now. And in the group, there are three sections. The first section is all about prospecting. The second section is all about building value. And the third section is on closing. Right now, we're focusing on building value and how sales rep in the conversation with their buyers and can help paint a picture and to build value. So you're gonna, I'm going to steal part of one of our past training sessions. Just going to take one of the modules, excuse me, one of the videos out of the module and share that with you. And I think it, it, it helps to give you or help paint the picture of what I'm talking about if more effectively. This session is going to pick up right after our previous session, which focused on creating business cases. Check it out. All right. So now we have just presented our business case and the prospect, they're loving us. They're like, man, this stuff is amazing. What's going to happen naturally in their mind because they're human beings, they're going to start to compare. They're going to start to say, well, what's our scenario like? What are we doing? What are our sales reps doing right now when they're calling? How much time are they spending? Do we think they're wasting time? What would it look like if we were making $35,000 per month or you know, so forth? Now we, now we have created this vision in their mind. We need to paint that picture. There's a concept that Toyota was using back in the days. It's called the five whys. Now, this is not the same five whys that David Hoffel was talking about. The five why concept is when we ask why five times. And then that helps us get to the root cause of the problem. When they're building cars, they didn't want, they wanted their team to truly fix the real issues and not just a surface level problem. So some of the surface level problems that we might try to, let me give you a scenario. Let's say someone is, they have a flat tire. A person is driving down the road and they hit a pothole and they have a flat tire to come to your shop to get it fixed. And now you as a sales rep, you have all these different other things that you could sell them. So you start asking them, why do you have a flat tire? And say, I hit a pothole. Well, he's like, well, we can definitely fix that. So that's one product you're trying to sell them. Then number two, you might say, well, why did you hit the pothole? Well, I didn't see it. Well, clearly you need some glasses. Let me go ahead and sell you some glasses as well. Well, now some sales reps will stop there and that's what they will do. Sell the glasses and maybe you'll sell the tire, but that's not the real issue, is it? Well, let's keep going and see if we can figure out what the real issue is. The third reason, why why didn't you see it? Uh, Why were you... Why do you not see the pothole? Well, I was speeding. Well, clearly now this guy is a speeder. He needs our speedometer thing to stop the to let him know when cops are around so he doesn't get in trouble. He speeds a lot. 
that's not the real issue either. So why were you speeding while I was late for a meeting? Well, we need to sell him an alarm clock. That's it. He needs an alarm clock. We're trying to sell all of these things and then not the real issue. So we might ask, but why, why were you late for the meeting? I stayed up late last night watching the game and just didn't prioritize. There's a real issue. This guy doesn't know how to plan. He doesn't know how to do, his, uh, do an effective, uh, he's not disciplined enough to realize that if I'm going to stay up late watching a game, maybe I should just put it on DVR or something and watch the rest of it in the morning. I need to have a big meeting. I need to be on time. I need to be refreshed. This person is not disciplined. Let's help them get disciplined. Because if we give them a glasses, if we give them the this predometer thingy to prevent them from getting pulled over by cops, if we fix the pothole, if we do all of these things, give them an alarm clock, they're still going to have those same issues later on. Let's go to the root cause. And when it comes to your prospect, once they've issued, uh, once, once they've identified and said, yes, that's like us, they agree with your business case. They're saying, yes, we have that same scenario, that blindside challenge. We believe it. And maybe I led and didn't tell them that I could 4X their business, but I, I under promised and now I want to over deliver when I finish up the deal. Maybe what I can do is say we can at least 2X to three times what you're making right now per month. That's my blind. And I, and I share with them, that's the, the case that I'm presenting. And then the blind side challenge is that I feel that your sales reps are not performing effectively, that they're prospecting neffectively, and they're wasting at least close to fifty to $60,000 per year on their prospecting efforts right now. That's enough money that what could you do with an extra $60,000 per year? Yeah, you could use that towards maybe hiring another sales rep and you can increase your sales. So now I paint this picture for them. Now we're going to go and paint it directly to their business by asking those questions. I can start using a five why concept. Now I'm not necessarily saying I need to say why, 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 but what I can say is what's your sales rep doing right now? Do you feel that you have a scenario like this? Why? Yeah, we feel that our sales reps are not being effective. Tell me more about that. They're going to share more. Why do you think that's the case? What have you guys done to solve that problem before? Why do you think, how much do you think this is costing you annually? If you could 3X your income right now per month, what would that look like for you? They might say, wow, that could be an extra, that could be $100,000, right? Per month. Now, if that's the case, how would that help your business over time achieve your business goals? What are those business goals you're trying to accomplish? Well, we're trying to get, you know, trying to open a second location. Now you see we're tying our solution, the problem that they're facing right now to their business goal, their entity's goal overall. We are now a consultant that's going to help solve that problem. We haven't even gotten all the details about how exactly we're going to do it because we already painted a picture with our business case. They're believing us. That will be in our demonstration. We're going to present how we're going to effectively execute this. We got all this stuff now. We, we set that up. Now the next step is to help them to understand a certain things. What is their time frame if they were to do something like this? We're going to need to do budget. So we need to talk to money. We might let them know well, something like this. Might, they might think it's costing you know, $2,000 when in actuality it might be $4,000. But if I establish enough value, they're going to say, we don't care. That's, we can 3X our income. He's proven this several times. This business case is there. Let's move forward with this sucker. Then we want to also go over who is involved in that process and what they're going to do to evaluate if they're going to make that decision or not. What's the criteria they're going to judge me on? And also, if we were to go on as a client, I mean, as a vendor for them, what's that vendor process like? Everything that we spoke about in that buyer's journey, we want to make sure that we get right now in the discovery call because that's going to help us to close a little bit more easier. That's what you want to do. You want to paint that picture to the prospect of where they are now and why they shouldn't be in the state and where they will be in the future once they get your product or service and what would that look like for them. If they start salivating about, you know, 3X in their income and then eventually we help 4X that income, it's like, mind blown. I always under promise, over deliver. If we could do 4X, maybe I tell them 2 or 3X just so I can, you know, cover my own butt as well. But also it's the simple fact that they're going to be so much more happier once they're able to accomplish more. So that's what we need to do. Paint that picture, ask the right questions once now they've seen that scenario and what that ideal situation could look like for them. We're going to continue talking about this. We're going to talk about the discovery a little bit more on the next video. Look forward to seeing you. So now you can see, no pun intended, how you can paint that picture. You can give the help the prospect to realize that this is their decision and not that it's something that you're forcing on them. It's not manipulative. You want to, if you can help them to recognize where they are and the challenges they're facing and where they want to go and have a meaningful dialogue about that, then the buyer is going to make a decision themselves. That's our job. Educate them. Find out more information about TSC Certified Sales Training Program. You can go back to the show notes, thesalesevangelist.com slash the word episode number 1050. Again, thesalesevangelist.com slash the word episode number 1050. Learn more about TSC Certified Sales Training Program. Our new semester will begin late April, and it would be an absolute honor to have you join us. Our goal of this podcast is to help you. We want to help sellers just like yourself and entrepreneurs who are trying to create that business. We want to help you to find more ideal customers. 
To do so, we recommend you check out the tools we recommend. And in the show notes, you can find information about MailTag. It's a powerful tool that helps you, like I say, to see around the corners. Know when your prospects are opening your email, schedule out emails, and make selling a little bit easier for you. Find all the details in the show notes or simply go to MailTag.io. I want you to build stronger value with your prospects. I want you to close more deals. But most importantly, it's to help you to go out each and every single day and do big things. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the episode today as much as I did. And if so, go ahead and leave us a rating and review on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Our show today was produced by myself and the Sales Podcast Network. It was edited and mixed together by the one and only Mr. Jershon O'Bail. Our content writer and show note creator is Mrs. Shannon Rasmussen. You can find audio credits to this and all of our episodes in the show notes. And as always, I am your host, your coach, your mentor, your guide down the sales journey, Mr. Donald C. Kelly. The Sales Evangelist. Sales Podcast Network.